<laughs> well, my name is Eric Claypool. I live in Lenhartsville, Pennsylvania. I grew up here in this farmhouse. Uh, my dad learned Hexheim painting from the late great Johnny Ott. He was the self-proclaimed doctor of hexology, and he had an ad in the paper. My dad went in to see him. You know, they seemed to head it off, and he was one of his students. And then he ended up taking over his business. So that was in 1962. I was two years old. Um, so as a kid, you know, my brothers and I, we help cut discs, clean milk cans. Don't touch my damn paint, he'd always say, you know, but of course we did. So um, everybody dabbled in it in a family, but it just stuck with me. And I took over the business 20 years ago, 96, that's more than 20 years ago. But I've been doing it about 40 years. You know, my first born, I was 11, 12 years old when I helped them with borns. So I just... Completed 100 barns, and my friend Patrick Dunmoyer just wrote this book with, uh, uh, it's about the 100 barns I painted. My friend, we met outside, he helped on 20 barns with me. Patrick, who wrote the book, is the director of the Heritage Center in Kutztown, and he's helped me on 20 barns. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is like the fifth book he wrote, you know, but he's like, he's been telling me for years, you're getting close to 100 barns, I'm gonna make a book when that happens. So it's a really, it's coming out next week. I got a copy to, to proofread and make sure all the, you know, dots and crosses and everything else were done right. So uh, that's a fun thing. Even though I'm 61, I'll still climb up the 40 foot ladders and paint them on. Jeez. <laughs> buy your book okay so the history of the science do you know any history of the science like where it all started well the star design have been around forever ancient you know ancient geometry the basic ancient Arabs stars that mean luck of some sort the Pennsylvania Dutch born stars started in the late 1700s I mean it was on blanket chests from the 1600s they were decorative they painted a lot of things um, as far as the barns, the blanket chests were, you know, the prized possessions went in the blanket chests. Yeah. So you always saw them decorated a lot, had unicorns on, stars on the end. And I remember seeing a jewelry box at Hershey Museum or Harrisburg Museum that had, from the 1600s, that had hex signs all around it too, painted on from, from way back then. But on the barns, they started in the late 1700s as a date board. You see stone houses that have either a wooden plaque or a stone. Well, this would have been like three or four foot star design with the initials of the owners and the date the barn was built. So we call them gable and recesses. There's, there's a couple pictures of the ones I repainted in the book. And I have another book Patrick wrote about the whole folk art and hex signs and the meaning and myth. And he has a whole chapter on gable and recesses, interior art that we found in the barns. There's a whole chapter on my dad and I and Milton Hill, who I'll mm -hmm. talk about. He was a very well-known hexine painter. He called them star designs. From, you know, when he was a kid in elementary, he was drawing designs and his teacher encouraged him to keep drawing stars. Well, by the time he was 13, he was helping his father paint barns and he changed his designs. He changed the old style designs to a new style, which now we look at as, as a historic sign from 100 years ago. It was progressive art then. You know, and it's, that's Milton Hill there. So those are some of the Hill stars. It's a design similar to that, oh, wow. and I sold all, I have a three-footer I can show you then, but, uh, so that's a hill star right here, that's one of the fancy hill stars that he created. But he only did stars and rosettes, oh. so Johnny Ott, who taught my dad, and Milton Hill were both at the Folk Festival here in 1953, oh. and they started, Johnny Ott, I think, is the one who started putting them on discs. You know, other than, on the four bays, they transformed onto the four bays of Barnes, in the like 1820s, 1830s, where you see most of them now, on the front of the barn, the four bay. That's the four bay there, you know, that front of that barn. Oh. So, you know, blanket chests held their prized possessions. That was their life, the focal point of their life. So some people believe they just decorated barns in that respect. I think they were symbolic. There's lots of stories on what they mean and represent. Mm -hmm. uh, six point star, you know, came from the star of David, basically. The design 
the rosette up there, that design. Oh. To me, you know, a caveman finds a wide branch, he has a compass, you know, <laughs> and he can doodle and all that. But that design will keep making circles and just keep going. You know, the mm -hmm. six point go around, you make a circle, and you know, and that's where geometry started with the circle. You know, when I do lectures, I show kids how to make a square out of a circle. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a interesting thing. You know, when you may overlap one circle and the other, you get that football shape on the side, and that's called mm -hmm. the vesica piscis. Your eye is that shape, and when you start drawing straight lines on there, divide, every common angle of math comes out, everything comes out of that vesica piscis. So that's the beginning of geometry. Oh, wow. This is the very common, it didn't always have scallops. Actually, I'll do one better. All right, I'll explain the geometry. These are all 30 degree star points. Mm -hmm. If you divide by seven, star point to star point, each star point is two sevens, the center pinwheel is three sevens, and it makes a perfect 30 degree star point, which to me is borderline sacred geometry. You know, it's fascinating stuff. It is. The 12 point star, if you look at it like a clock, those are all 30 degree star points. You look at a clock, you would connect 12 o'clock to 5 o'clock, 1 o'clock to 6. I call that like the perfect geometric form in a hexine because every common angle we use in math is on that design as well. You know, So that was said to represent the 12 apostles. The red dot in the center was to represent Christ's blood. The pinwheel in the center was to represent people spinning through time.